The South Side Scoop just got better. We now have our own website. If you missed a show or just want to see one again, you could watch them all online. Not only does the website have all the latest shows, but it gives you some more information about what broadcast is about. You may also check out our blog space, giving you all the latest news throughout the community and around our world. Not only are our shows on the website, but you could also check out our YouTube channel, Southside Scoop, with all of the shows. Don't forget to visit www.southsidescoop.com. Park Hill South and welcome to the South Side Scoop. I'm Sung Ha. And I'm John Old. Today is a purple day. Sung, it is Friday. It I'm is really Friday. Excited. But what else is today, John? Uh, it's also Veterans Day. It is Veterans yeah, Day? So is there I'm anything else? No. Are you sure? I Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. It's 11 11 11. Is, is, that supposed to, is that supposed to mean something to me or what? Kind of. I mean, a lot of people make wish on 11 11 and they feel like 11 11 11 is their lucky day. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm sure you're a great girl, son. But I really just don't believe that. So, oh, okay. I mean, anyway, uh, back to Veterans Day. Do we have we have Savannah in the uh, A100s hallway? For we us? do, we so. do. Savannah, it's a very special day today. Yeah, along with being 11, 11, 11, it's also Veterans Day. I hear you have some more news for us on that. I do. We have a video of what Veterans Day means to students and teachers here at South. Veterans Day to me is about honoring the people that are most responsible for our freedoms. Uh, it's very simple. We don't have the type of lifestyle that we have. We're not able to do anything really and enjoy a free and open society without the sacrifices of people that came before. It. We owe our veterans, both past and present, uh, thanks and gratitude for serving our country. And it's in honor of all those people that, you know, give us our freedom to fight, that are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Veterans, we need to honor them and respect them because they've done things that no human should ever do. Uh, we stop today to remind people and educate people about uh, what our veterans do for our country, um, the sacrifices that they make. If you see a veteran today, make sure to say and show your thanks to them. Also, the halls this during second block will be crowded with people going on over to the assembly. So let's take it back to you in the studio. Thank you for that, Savannah. Not only do we have an assembly today, but we have the musical going on tonight. We do. Their first show was actually last night. I went to it. It was really good. Yeah, $6 at lunch, $7 at the door. Uh, how to succeed in business without really trying. Uh, something that I am extremely interested in. You so should might, go to it. It was I really might, good. I might have to go and uh, take some notes. Make sure to go in at 730 and support them. Hey, senior boys, want to be the next big cat on campus? If so, make sure to get an application outside of Miss Matthews' room in B107 today. Applications are due back by November 28th, and auditions will take place on the 29th. From big cat to big event, help out the community and bring in canned food. The Four Club and the FMPs are accepting all donations of non-perishables. It will run through to November 22nd. Food items will be collected each Thursday during each Tuesday during tutorial and counted. The tutorial that has that brings the most canned food will, will receive a prize at the end of the drive. All food collected will be the stock of the food pantries in various schools, including Park Hill South, with any extras going to harvesters. There's also another way to help out. Student Council is hosting a mac and cheese drive for the Salvation Army to be added to holiday food baskets for needy families in our area. The drive will conclude on the 17th and students will come around during third block on the 11th and 17th to collect and tally what your first block has donated. The winning first block will receive a breakfast party. Now batting, sophomores, Jocelyn's plans to be here on Tuesday, November 15th, during tutorial to deliver sophomore class ring orders. If you've ordered a class ring and have a balance due, please bring it at this time. From sophomores to juniors, junior FMPs, the deadline for applications for the 2011-2012 Board of Directors is due today. The deadline already extended once and it will not be extended again, so make sure you get those applications in today. Sung, fall sports have officially ended. It yeah, they over. have. It's kind of sad to... I mean, it's always fun to see the sports, but I mean, it's officially over because, well, winter sports has officially I'm begun. I'm excited for that, though. Are you going to be in any of them? I mean, I don't know. I'm not really an athlete, but uh, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I try. I play sports. I'm not really that good at it. So, I mean, Seth Klein has, you know, more than what we have. Yeah, so. he has a preview of the fall sports, so let's send it on over to him. 
Well, thank you for that, Z Sung and John. Today we have two winter previews for today. So we're going to start off with the basketball team today. With Coach Settler taking over as the head coach, the team looks to have an unforgettable season with returning starters of Anthony Woods and uh, sophomores Peyton Meeks and uh, Hudson Welty. But that's all we got for you. We're going to kick back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, Seth. Um, well, that's all we have for you today on the Southside Scoop. I'm Sung Huh. I'm John Holden. Have a great day.